That render was part of a video that AMD released on the performance of their new Big Navi graphics card. It was a real-time render and was absolutely mind-blowing, and could perhaps top NVIDIA's new GPUs. AMD was thrown a curveball with the reveal of Ampere leaving Turing and RDNA in the dust. Advanced Micro Devices, or AMD, has been at constant war with NVIDIA, at least in the lower end of the GPU market. AMD's current fastest GPU, the 5700 XT, is comparable to NVIDIA's RTX 2060 Super or 2070. In case you didn't know, the current lowest end RTX 3000 GPU beats out these cards by more than double. AMD makes GPUs that have insane value, their price to performance far beats out NVIDIA's. However, AMD has not been able to compete with NVIDIA in the higher end of graphics processing. Until now. AMD's new card is expected to compete with even the RTX 3090. To put it shortly, Big Navi will be about two and a half times as fast as the RX 5700 XT, putting it in line with the RTX 3090 and greatly surpassing the 2080 Ti. The RX 6900 XT is expected to have 80 compute units and 5120 streamlined processors. It is expected to have 16GB of GDDR6 VRAM and has a 1.7GHz base clock. For some perspective, the RTX 3080 has a base clock of 1.44GHz. The 3080's boost clock is 1.71GHz, making it the same as Big Navi's base clock. The 6900XT's boost clock will be around 2.33GHz. Now, these numbers will of course vary depending on what card you buy. I am using the expected Founders Edition specs. Third party cards from ASUS, Gigabyte, and MSI will have lower or higher clock speeds depending on their make and model. Although Nvidia's clock speeds are much lower, the cards make up for it because they have more CUDA cores. But with the Navi card, you can take advantage of a better overclocking experience. The 6900 XT, or Big Navi, will be priced around $600 US, or about $800 to $900 Canadian. But it dropped in price when Ampere was released. This means that AMD underestimated the power of the RTX 3000 series GPUs. The card dropped $50 US, or about $75 to $100 Canadian, when Ampere was announced. This puts it probably in between the price of the 3080 and the 3070. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's between that performance. The 6900 XT could well match or surpass the 3080 and even the 3090. By making their product even cheaper, it wouldn't even be a choice the consumer would have to make. Big Navi would bring such better price to performance ratio than the 3080. This could also mean that AMD is future proofing for an RTX 3080 Super or TI, and by making their card a better option, Nvidia would struggle to compete with even the Super and TI variants of the 3080. Looking on the opposite end of the spectrum, if the 6900 XT is as fast or faster than the 3080, Nvidia would no doubt have to lower the price of the 3080 and create a 3080 Super or TI. After all, Nvidia has left plenty of space for improvement with a massive price gap between the 3080 and 90. To sum up, we are about to witness perhaps the most intriguing product war between Nvidia and AMD. Who do you think will have the better card? As always, have a great day!